Hi everybody, welcome to Makeup University. I'm Sherilyn, thanks for joining me today. It's December, how about that? Just like that. 2021 has 31 days in it. Today's a day, 30 days left. So get some fun holiday glasses on because I choose to look and see joy everywhere possible. But I'm also looking ahead to 2022. And that's why I would love to introduce you to this. Ah! <laughs> this is my journal I created for busy moms like me and especially for single moms like me. And I wanted you to know that it's the year to build the year for dreams, no matter what it looks like in the world, this is the year for you to take massive action. And sometimes massive action starts with a little step, like Habakkuk 2.2 2 says, to write it down and make the vision plain. That's why I have this. Inside, you will see all these blank pages on one side, but this is where I want you to look, right here. It'll have a scripture. This is one of my favorites. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Do everything in love. Oh, even on the hard days. Just do it in love. And it's a great mindset shift. And this is what's different about my journal that's different than others. It's got a date for when you committed to do things in love, when you're going to activate and put that scripture into your life. But then it says why. Why? And so that's the challenge. Why would you choose to do something in love today? Food for thought. Let's do another. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. Second Thessalonians 3, 5. All of these scriptures are very near and dear to my heart. So it has a spot for the date and then why? So ask it like this. When you're at home journaling, and not a big hour long do da doing the bowls. No. Five minutes. Read the scripture. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. I want to focus on the word perseverance. Why? This is the point of how to use this journal. Why would you persevere? For your health, for your family, for generational wealth for your grandkids' grandkids, for your planet, for your community. Why? Oh my gosh, why? Let's do, can we do one more together? <laughs> okay, towards the end, we're gonna get to the last page together, but so when you look at this on Amazon, you can see the look inside, though I just wanted to give you more detail because there are a billion, yeah, I'm not sure I specifically have a billion, but there's so many choices on Amazons of so many journals. But this is why you get mine. Because he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalms 147.3. Date. Put it down. Jot. And then just use this page. Why? Why do I need a broken heart bound up? Like bandaging. Like nurturing care. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Why? So that you can persevere. So that you can look and look again. I am telling you, this is a beautiful way to prompt your 2022 into continually taking actions. And this year, are you going to do resolutions? You know, ever since 2019, things have been a roller coaster and things have been wild. But I'm here to tell you, persevering, being flexible, quickly changing, and knowing why you're doing it is going to make the difference between you succeeding in this new season or not. And you definitely don't want to go around the mountain one more time. So here's the last page. And this is my all-time favorite scripture is Esther 2.15. Everyone who sees me favors me. But I would say my second is Isaiah 61. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is upon you. Ah! This then doesn't have a prompt. It just then has a little prayer from the author, me. And I'm not going to tell you, so you'll get the book. <laughs> this is perfect for your women's groups, 
for your Facebook groups, for your personal self to work through, for your Wednesday morning prayer group. There was a, that's a story for another time. When my son was first born on Wednesday mornings, my church would hold a ladies breakfast and it was just amazing time to get together with ladies and have a meal and just visit. It was amazing. I wanna keep this video short. I saw it's five minutes. So if you're wondering what the gray band is, that is my copy. So I have the author's copy here. Yours won't have the gray band. Prayer Journal for Single Moms 2022, the year to build dream life, the year to build dream world. It's time to make the vision big and think of it worldwide, countrywide, statewide, countywide, city or townwide, family-wide, personal. Just really need to think bigger in this new season. So I am going to have a link for this below. Thank you so much for considering this prayer journal, this way to track your whys as you go into this new season. I think you're going to love it. I think it's going to be super useful for you. But like any tool, it only works if you use it. So I encourage you to get it now, today, December 1st, so you can begin working through your whys, have another on hand to start 2022. And instead of doing traditional resolutions, keep work, like putting your hand to the plow, like this, hand to the plow, eyes straight ahead, face set like flint, going into 22, no matter what gets thrown at you, you are going to put your face like flint, hands to the plow, and press forward and keeping your whys, not a resolution this year. Why do you lose weight to be healthy and fit and have a long life? Why do you invest to have financial health and fitness? There's so many ways when you pivot to thinking, why do I do this? It'll be a mindset shift for you to get more massive action out and more success, more goals achieved. <sighs> ultimately more joy. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and um, welcome to December. Let's put our joy glasses on. I am so ready for Christmas and this is long. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sherilyn. This is Makeup University and remember, you look really gorgeous today.